All right, so yesterday, Ring let out the pound for pound, their top 10 rankings, and Keith Thurman wasn't on it. Do you think he should be top 10 pound for pound? Yeah, I think so. Keith Thurman, he's, he's a good fighter. He's a great fighter, actually. You know, every time they put him in those situations where, you know, um, any, any tough fights and he just, you know, he rose to the occasion and came out on top. You know, he just had that unification bout with Danny Garcia. He won that. He fought a, you know, a war with Sean Porter. And, you know, he won that. You know, he just, every time he gets in those situations, he come out on top. So I think, you know, if, if he's not on it yet, he should be on it soon, real soon. Uh, one name that's on there that caught my eye was uh, Lomachenko. Lomachenko. Do you think a guy with nine fights, well, ten fights now, should be in ranked top ten pound for pound? Um, that's hard. I don't know. But, you know, he has proved himself. But, you know, when people actually tell, um, mention him as the best fighter in boxing right now, I don't think so. I don't think he's the best fighter in boxing. You, you know, he has a loss, number one. And number two, you know, only ten fights. So I think he has more proven to do. And I don't think um, he should have a problem proving himself against uh, Rigondeaux either. Because I think Rigondeaux is too small for him. Do you think Lomachenko walks right through him? I don't think he walks right through him because, you know, Rigondeaux is stylistically a great fighter. But for him to move up two weight classes, I think he's moving up. You know, that's kind of it's kind of kind of a hard thing to do, especially against a top-level fighter like Lomachenko. If Rigondeaux was to win the fight, how do you think he does it? Um, to win the fight, I don't know, man. He has to. I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. He has to be, you know, just a step ahead of Lomachenko. I think. I think he has to be busier.